LPS shower thoughts because it's 5 a.m. and there's nothing else better I can do. This custom is old and authentic with a red magnet, but I don't remember the base. Could I have possibly painted over a pet shop that I want today? Hmm. Who... Who actually has the world record for the most littlest pet shops? To the LPS collectors that used to collect LPS as a child, that don't really know their worth today, could one of them have a prototype and not know about it? Could somebody have the rarest pet shop in the world, but not know it because it's just crammed in a box somewhere? of their old collection. Do I really want to use Big Five Pets? Or am I just worried that nobody's gonna want to watch my videos if I don't? Where the heck did all of the old LPS I lost go? Could some of them have found a new home? Or could something have tragic happened to them? But I'll never know because they're lost. I bought this LPS second hand, which means it belonged to somebody before me, so... I wonder the memories they had with this pet shop, and I wonder what role she played in their collection. She could have been a favorite. She could have been someone's most favorite, but now she just sits on my shelf. I wonder if there's actually an interesting story to her damages that I'm missing out on. We make our LPS eat various types of foods that they would actually have to get from other animals. So if they're the only intelligent life and the only beings of their planet, then they're technically eating products of their own people. If you go by the actual sizes of the animals, in the LPS world, the Great Danes are either really small, or some animals are really huge. Huh. No matter what's going on in that moment, in your series or your video, no matter if the matter is sad or dramatic, your LPS will be smiling. The girl could be having the worst day of her life, but she's smiling. This girl could have had someone die, but she's smiling. I wonder, they better be grateful they live better than I do, luxury-wise. If you would have saved up all of your money instead of buying LPS all the time for each Christmas or birthday, and you just saved that money, would you have had your dream LPS by now? Wouldn't you have had the money to get your dream LPS by now? But is it worth sacrificing only having one pet shop out of the many you could have had? Well, that's all the shower thoughts I have. But interesting nonetheless.